We're going to solve this two different ways, and they're both going to use integration by parts and some trig identities. The first, we're going to go ahead and start off by rewriting this as secant squared x, secant x, dx. It's still the same function, and we're going to use integration by parts here. So our u is going to be secant x, and our du is secant x, tan x, dx, and our dv is secant squared x, dx, meaning that our v is going to be tan of x. So it's important to know some basic integration here. So let's go ahead and use the ultraviolet voodoo, as I like to call it. So we have secant x, tan x, minus integral of tan x times secant x, tan x, dx. Let's go ahead and have some fun with this and just rewrite these things in terms of sines and cosines. And I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this, but hopefully you can kind of see where I'm going with it. And if you recall the Pythagorean identity for sine squared, don't forget that sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cosine squared x. So that's what we're going to use for that numerator in the integral. And because there's only one value in the denominator, I'm just going to separate the top into two different fractions. And I realize I should have been secant, not sine. Since both of these integrals now have cosine on the bottom, that's just secant. Let me go ahead and make some space on the blackboard. Now we only have two integrals to solve for. This last one is one that we should be familiar with. But it looks like we're still stuck with this secant cubed x, which is what we have in the very beginning. So here's what we can do. I'm going to go ahead and introduce this and just make this equal to secant cubed x dx, because that's exactly what it is. And I'm going to add that integral on the left side to the right. So that leaves us with secant x and x plus integral of secant x dx. But you know what? Let's just go ahead and integrate that already. Let me just show the solution. That is natural log of secant x plus tan x. And then we have plus c equals 2 times integral of secant cubed x dx. Now we want to find the value of that integral. So all we have to do now is divide everything by 2. And that's the integral there on the bottom. Now I'm going to solve this a different way. And I'm just going to rewrite the secant squared x as 1 plus tan squared x, because that's an identity. And now let me go ahead and distribute the secant x. And now we have two integrals. That secant x we already should know how to solve. And what I mean by that is just something that we should have memorized. Let me rewrite that second integral. And now I'm going to use integration by parts. As I mentioned, this integral is going to become that natural log absolute value of secant x plus tan x plus secant x tan x. And we can rewrite that other integral as secant cubed x dx. And we have the same thing. So I'm going to make this equal to the original integral and then just add it to the other side. I should definitely add that plus c somewhere. And just like the previous problem, we're going to go ahead and divide everything by 2. Put my answer up here. And we get the same thing. 